Does this look natural? This is a good ab workout. Ow! There's a cat whisker stabbing my butt. Ow! Oh, maybe more like this. Like, like a cool guy. Cool guy. Cool guys don't. Wait, how do I get the arm? How do I do the arms? Okay. Is this good? Do I look cool? Oh, I can't. I don't know where my remote is. All right, I'll just sit on it. Nor like a normal person. Okay. Ah, <sighs> got my legs crossed and everything, so I'm extra dainty. That was the remote. Welcome to my playground, you beautiful creature. Let's have some fun with a technique on the gel plate. Oh, I just kicked my tripod. Let's see if you can hear him coming back. Is that better? Is that how it works? Yes, we're here together for another gel plate technique. And this one is a resist using cornstarch. It's fun. It's fun. You're going to get a nice textural look. It looks like an old wall and you can build it up and choose your own adventure with it. Do what you want to do. Um, it's going to be messy and dusty, but well worth it. I mean, I should show you a, an example, right? I don't have one right here, but hang on. There we go. Like this. Before we get started, I don't want to forget to mention that the link below is below. <sighs> my gosh. There's a link down there for my newsletter. If you would like to sign up every month, I send free mobile wallpapers out to everyone on there. So get on board if you're interested. I'm working on making some wallpapers to put in my shop. So why not grab them for free if you can, right? Got a little Superman curl happening here. Mine's longer than his though. Let's have some fun. Let's go. All right. So what you're going to need for this is a gel plate. I'm just using my eight by 10. You can do this on any size. You're gonna need a brayer, of course, and some acrylic paints. I'm just using a variety of different ones here. Uh, some paper to print on and a little roller, you know, clean your roller off page, scrap paper, um, and cornstarch. Last but not least, cornstarch. I'm going to start off with just a black and white one um, to get a little basic thing down. And then my favorite is that, wait, is this my favorite? These two colors together are mwah, chef's kiss, super good. But these two together, this is like a shimmery metallic orange. Oh yeah, that's pretty spicy too. Okay, anyway, black and white. Let's start with a little black base on the plate. Oh my gosh, I always forget. A little goes a long way. It's gonna be too much paint. Okay, that took a little longer to bray her off because I put too much paint, but okay. So we've got a nice wet coat of paint on the plate. Now you're gonna take your cornstarch or baby powder and sprinkle it on. Flick it, flick it, flick it to get some smaller bits. It's like stardust. Doesn't it look like stars? It's like a night sky with stars. There we go. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab your paper right away. Pull it while it's wet. There we go. Now, there we go. You know, swap spots. Move the plate. And put this here because it dries pretty fast. Then you can wipe off any remaining dust on there. Just wipe it to the floor so the floor gets nice and slippery. There we go. pretty quick, right? Like pretty simple and easy. Even that alone looks pretty rad, I think. Again, it looks like a night sky to me. Just some really blobby stars. It's like a close, if you could get closer to the stars, you know? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is next, let's switch back, grab the plate, got a blob, 
doesn't matter. We still have some cornstarch on there. I'm going to now put a coat of white down and pull this up onto this same print. Okay. Satisfy. It's going to be a little bit chunky looking. So that black was still in there. Now we've got a bit of a gray. Looks like it's going to be a cloudy night in space. Okay. Let me grab this guy again. Okay. We're going to lay down our original on top. I'm not going to worry about placement. You know what? This ring is leaving marks. really wipe any dust. There's a little bit of dust, I guess. Most of it came off on that first one. There. It's such a great texture. You see, it kind of looks old and weathered. Looks kind of nice. Let's do another color. Well, let's do some color. Okay, take two. This is way better, isn't it? Look at this. This is like a little closer. You're not on a hill. Which way was the hill going? Whatever, you're not going to fall down. So that's good. I even added some flowers because it was looking kind of just bland. And now we have dramatic shadows, which I'm not lying. I kind of want to draw them right now. Okay, but we have a task. We got a, we got a job to do here. We got to do some colors now. Okay, this and this. We got bright aqua green and permanent red violet. Let's start with the red violet. And, oi, hang on. Ew, this, I need a new tube of this. Clearly one I use a lot. So it's hilarious. You got to see this setup I have now. This uh, camera's on this crazy tripod, makeup, makeshift tripod. Anyway, Stardust. And uh, yesterday I tried filming this and I knocked over one of my lights. Broke the bulb. Glass everywhere. Don't you love when that happens? Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, I have to be honest with you. I had some technical problems and then the paint dried. So I've had to reapply a layer, but I saved you the drama of watching it again. And um, I had to put a new one down. So here we go. We're going to pull the print. It's the exact same thing. I put paint, put some stardust on top, and now we pull this gorgeousness up. I'm going to move that. Nobody needs that to spill. Let's see how she looks. You're gorgeous. You know, it kind of reminds me of a little pink popsicle in the summer or something. I have no idea why, but it does. So another thing I forgot to tell you about, actually, I'll tell you about it in one sec when I'm done this print. Let's just stay on topic, Amanda. Wipe the dusties off. Yay. Now, let's jack it up with some of this. Yes, turquoise. I love you, turquoise. Here we go. Get our plate back. Just keep our little print to the side. Not too much. Let's do this. Pink on turquoise. Ooh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
What do you think? Look at that texture. Oh, yum city. Let me do it this way. Ready, come to class. Right? This is so fun. It's such a delicious texture. I'm really happy with that one. But we're going to do another one because we got to get some shimmer. Some shimmer, shimmer, orange, iridescent orange, yellow. It's going to look smashing with that turquoise. I promise. Here we go. thing I was going to tell you about when I said, oh, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you you're going to need. Uh, something just to clean your plate off with. So I have some baby wipes. Brand new pack. Are you super excited like me? I'm so excited that I get to open a new pack. I'm joking. Okay, so there's actually not much junk left on it from that pull, so that's good. But this will get the fresh paint off. Squeak, squeak. Oh, that's a pleasant sound. You know what? I should have just left it. It probably would have looked awesome anyway. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to dab it with a little towel towel. I like using these blue um, kitchen roll things. I guess they're more for cars. I don't know. They're always in the trunk of our car. But regular kitchen roll or paper towel, however you want to call it, it always leaves little fuzzies. This stuff doesn't. Okay, so we're dry. First layer is going to be this sassy spicy shimmer Ooh, i'm not usually a big orange fan i don't know why i mean it's a pretty happy color but you know, everyone has their colors they like right what's your favorite color i feel like if we're on a first date i'm gonna ask you what's your favorite color are there colors you avoid colors you're drawn to I mean, I'm always drawn to blues and greens those are my my go-to's pull that there we are it's getting in the way there plant Our little dusty off. This table is proper dusty now, actually. That's what vacuums are for. Okay, can you see the shimmer? Ooh, sparkly goodness. time the ocean gosh probably have cornstarch on the top of my paint now this one when i did this one before oh so happy that it really looked like an old wall now you can old europe and italy and you find these really cool walls with peeling paint or Rust stains. Oh, just absolutely spectacular. Geez, I hope this one turns out like that because if it doesn't, you're going to think I'm a liar. Yeah, so uh, it didn't really turn out like that. Let's do another one. It does look kind of cool because you get that sort of hint of shimmer underneath all right i mean i could use it i shouldn't be so quick to dismiss let's try something else let's try this now i'm going to clean this off i just cleaned the center really Leave the edges, because that could add some nice effect. Just dab it dry. Okay, what 
what I'm going to do is make a pull a print without any of the stardust cornstarch on it. I'm just going to build layers now, layer upon layer. Ooh, it looks kind of pinky. Ooh, I like that. So shimmery. Now we get a nice clean plate. Now we're going to add some turquoise in here and we'll put the cornstarch over the turquoise. You know what, I'm going to get a big chunk here. Now, grab our shimmer, shimmer print. I think maybe this is how I got that original old world wall look. Who knows? This table is so bouncy. Look at it and shake it. Whoa. I need to get a new table. I need like a hardcore, solid wooden table. Oh my God, this is it. Here we go. This is how I did it. We just need to wipe these bits off. So that's how I did it. It's kind of neat the way it shifted. I like seeing this edge here, the contrast. Anyway, there it is. Old wall with the shine. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So that's really pretty. And you know what? I'm going to do one more technique since I brought the flowers in. Let's use one of the flowers. I wonder if the petals, actually, those petals are coming off, I think. This guy will work. I'm going to do one with flowers. I'll show you something else that's kind of neat you can do. Let's move this guy aside. Oh, you know what? Might as well pull this, right? And let's use a totally different color. Maybe this. Nice little Venetian rose. Oh my god, I love to... Ooh, that was going to be a little less crusty than that. That wasn't as satisfying. It's kind of groups. Plate keeps shifting out of frame. Rude. I feel like this is going to look like bubble gum, cotton candy. Or it's going to look like crud, but who cares? Sometimes you have to make crud in order to make good stuff. In this case, it's not crud. Well, not to me. I kind of like that. I kind of dig it. Woo. There's probably some shimmer hiding in there. Yeah, there totally is. I don't know if you can see it the remnants of sparkle. Okay, now, now we got to clean the plate, but uh, we're going to do some time traveling because this is, this is sticking. This is really sticking. Hang on, let's time travel. Welcome to the future. The plate is clean. So what we're going to do is, I haven't really thought this through. I'm just going to go with my gut. I got some shimmer blue, kind of like that same 
shimmer orange, iridescent blue green, and I'm gonna make a little flower print with this. So I'm gonna actually take not that yellow one, but this big sensational peony. Hang on, I have to smell it. Oh my god, right? Oh, I could live in that. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this guy down. All the petals are gonna come off, you watch, because it's on its way out, which is why it's in my studio to be pressed. Now I'm going to take some of the stardust. Sorry, I just, I prefer to call it stardust than cornstarch. It's more palatable. Look, this looks like something out of a fairy tale. It's like snow on petals. Did you ever see the movie Legend when you were a kid or recently? I had such a crush on Tom Cruise in that movie. Okay. Anyway, I always liked the idea of the, the, uh, what is it? All the like fluffs blowing through the woods. Sorry, I got caught. Oh my God, you see what happened? Okay, I've got to get these off quick. Petals everywhere. I have to say, it's kind of groovy on my desk right now. Okay, let's pull this up. Even gonna get some pollen in there. Judgment day. See how she worked. The pollen stayed on the plate. Kinda neat. It doesn't really look like a peony. Looks like I gathered up a bunch of cling wrap, plastic wrap, or old tissues or something. Looks cool, it does look kinda neat. And then what, you, you know what you could do is take these white spots and you could add color. You could paint in these areas. And I think that would look really cool. What I should have done is pulled this in a different color to make it stand out more. But you know what? It's after school time and I gotta go pick up my wee lass. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope it was fun. Educational, of course. Um, I wanna show you all the guys we got. Oh, that's the one I'm not too jazzed about. I mean, look, they look really cool. They look really, re it's texture, right? I'm just such a sucker for texture. That guy can go in the back. You could do anything with these. Great for backgrounds. You could do prints. Here, wait, you know what you could do? Where did I put those guys? I had some little guys. Okay, the guys. Let's use this one. It looks old. And even the others. Oh, my fake background is uh, moving around on me. I had to put white down because the red table would be very distracting. Red with multitude of brush strokes on it. So you could take this and do collaging on it. Look at this. Oh my God, look at this guy. Handsome. Handsome Edwardian fellow. I mean, look at, look, he's dreaming about something. Or this lady, lover, let's put her on a different color. This is the Edwardian man. I don't know. You just, I think it would be very fun, you know, do some collaging, give them really cool, funky backgrounds. Where's this guy is? He's tiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. He's a tiny little guy. Look at him flying. Oh, with his little wings. Me, have fun with it. If you have any questions about anything I did or any ideas, share them below. That'd be fantastic. Let's chat. Let's talk ideas. But I hope you give it a try if you're into this kind of thing, if you're into gel plates, if you're into texture. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Like I said, questions, drop them below. Ideas, drop them below. Comments, drop them below. Critiques, drop those below too. And don't forget, I have a uh, news, sorry, not newsletter, love letters, which I send out monthly with free um, artwork, free mobile wallpapers. Okay, my darling. Mwah.
even though you couldn't see me blow a kiss, there's one there. And I will see you in the next video, my sweet. Thank you.